Hello guys, what is up? It is Dakota here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little tutorial on how to basically run a proxy through Skype so you do not get DDoS. So, what is a DDoS? DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service, and what that is is that basically people get your IP through Skype or whatever, the, however they get it, and then they send packets to your router, making your internet lag or eventually even turn off. So today I'm going to show you how to prevent that. So you will need two things. You'll need Skype proxy settings.rar, which I have right here, and you will also need a proxy, and I will link this in the description so you can get your proxy. So first things you are going to do, download this and extract it to your desktop or whatever. And here's what you have. You have Skype proxy settings.reg and Skype remove proxy.reg. Okay, so we're going to open Skype proxy settings.reg with notepad. And I already have a proxy set here, but this will be like IP and port. I don't know if I, I might have included this in the download, but basically this is what you're going to have right here. So you're going to go into your hidemyass.com proxy list, and you're going to go scroll down a little bit. And here you're going to see all of your countries that have proxies. I'm basically just going to choose China because it has a lot of them. And you're going to, what whatever city or whatever country you want to be located in, just choose it. So I chose China, then you're going to click on it, click off HTTP and SOX S4 slash 5, and then you're basically done, but you have one more thing to do, go down here and make that response time, and then click update results, and it'll update your results, and then here are all your proxies ranked by speed, and here we have one that was 39 minutes ago, I'm pretty sure that's the one I was running, yes it is, so I'll go to Venezuela and do that again, so that way we don't get the same one. Well, Venezuela has shit speed. Going to United States. That was 18 hours ago. But for the sake of the tutorial, I don't even need to use one that was somewhat fast. I'll use this one. Just you should want to try and find one that was updated like recently, because if it was updated a long time ago, it might not work. But basically, what you're gonna do is copy your IP address and paste it in where IP is, and then you're gonna get your port. So that's just 80. Come on, Notepad. Make that 80, not 90, 80. And you're going to save it. Minimize, minimize, and then you're going to run this. And click yes. Adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. That's just, yeah. And then keys and values have been successfully changed. Click OK, and then now you can run Skype. So we're just going to let this load here. My PC's a little poop, so you're going to have to wait a little bit for it to run. But... Yeah, like I was saying before, you want to try and get this to be updated as recently as possible. So here, let's sign in. And here, I am connected. And to see if it worked, go to Tools, Options. Then go to Advanced, and then Connection, and you should see your proxy right here. And if that worked, then you should be fine. You are basically covered by a proxy. So if anyone would try to re resolve you, they would get whatever IP address, this IP address, and then if they tried to boot it, they would just boot that proxy offline. And then if you wanted another one, you could just come back here, get this, and do the same exact thing over again. So I'm pretty sure you don't have to edit this. Yeah, it just changes everything back. So if you want to remove your proxy, just do this. Click yes. Hold on, you got to make Skype was signed out. Make sure Skype was signed out. My bad. Make sure Skype was signed out before you do any of this. And click yeah, click that, and you should be able to sign back in and everything should be changed. So let that load. Let's see what else we got going on here. 39 minutes, hour and 18 minutes. Go back to tools. Come on. Come on. You can do it, Skype. Tools, Options, Advanced, Connection, and there is no more proxy. So now they can resolve you. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. And be sure to subscribe and like the tutorial if I helped you. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!